Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so just a quick note before we continue. If you require any additional support, please visit 3minutemaths.co.uk. You can search for any GCSE maths topic or search by grade. And if you click on any of the links, that will take you through to a particular post. So this one is how to answer maths indices questions. There are links through to the questions, the answers, and a walkthrough video as well. You can also remain on the YouTube channel and all of the resources are within the YouTube channel and descriptions below each of the videos. Hope that's useful to you. Okay, so this is an indices question where we're being asked to write this fraction as a power of 3. So what I'm going to do is concentrate initially at least on the bottom, the denominator. So the top I'm going to leave as 3 to the power of n. The bottom, rather than writing 9, I'm going to write 3 squared because that's exactly the same as 9. And then that's to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so what happens when we expand those brackets at the bottom or expand the bracket 3n at the top and that's going to give us 3 to the power of 2n and then minus 2 because if I take that 2 and multiply by the n and then multiply by the minus 1 and that will give me 2n minus 2. Okay so what I'm going to do now is because effectively these two numbers are being divided by each other and that's the function of the fraction what I'm going to do is subtract the indices so I'm going to say that's the same as saying 3 to the power of n minus brackets 2n minus 2. Now it is important to keep the these brackets in place because when we remove the brackets it's going to have an effect so let's have a look at how that works I'm going to have 3n and then I've got minus 2n and then I've got minus times a minus is going to be plus, so it's going to be plus 2. OK, let's tidy that up a little bit. I'm going to get 3. And then I've got n minus 2n is exactly the same as saying minus n. And plus 2, I leave it on its own. OK, and that actually is the answer to the question. It's just a little bit untidy, so it might make it a little bit better to write it out as 3 to the power of 2 minus n. And that would be the answer to the question. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.